yeah hi Praveen now we can start um, our mock interview in, for the role of data engineer so please okay. introduce hi. yourself hi. first so uh, I am Praveen so I have been working in uh, like in a uh, thesis for uh, three years three three point five years so I have started my uh, uh, like my education in uh, I I'm basically from Tamil Coimbatore Tamil Nadu so that I completed my bachelor of engineering uh, then I got uh, uh, exposure to the uh, IT from uh, uh, through the TCS then after joining the TCS I was in a uh, like I got to know about this uh, data engineering and the big data technologies like uh, in that that were in open those those started with that thing. After that, then I I got into like after I I have been assigned a project and I have attended a boot camp arranged by the TCC. So there I I got to know about this uh, Azure cloud technologies in the big data stack. So okay. uh, knowing that then it slowly started with the uh, blob ADF ADB for Spark, then like. Uh, it it goes on. So like I'm I'm just uh, like started currently before one month in working on ADF and ADB. Okay, so you don't have a previous experience on this technology. Ah, uh, what I no, understood. No. Oh, so I'm just okay. uh, learning in current. Yeah, cool, cool. That's not a problem. So uh, how good are you in SQL? SQL. Uh, or... SQL. I'm basic. Yeah, I'm basic. Level. I know that. Okay. Okay, so I'll introduce myself. I am Sagar Pashapati. Yes. I have around three years of experience in the field of data engineer. I have been working in in Azure technology. I have worked for okay. in in de, in this uh, Azure Data Factory and ADB okay. and then SQL, okay. MS SQL, all the Microsoft technology. I worked on it. So yeah, so okay. we so I will ask some questions to you. So whatever you know, yes. just to you know, yep. Okay, yeah. so first, uh, okay, so I was going to your resume. I seen that you have yeah. worked on ADF, created copy activities yeah. and copy data from Gen two, uh, and load it into mm -hmm. some uh, Azure Syn apps. Okay, yeah. you have mentioned, yeah, you have mentioned that. Uh, okay, so what type of files have you worked on it in Gen two? Uh, it's like CSV, JSON, and Parquet. We have worked on it. So do you know the difference between these three? What what is oh, yeah. CSV? Uh, yeah. CSV is comma separated. It's like uh, basically a, uh, like it is in uh, relation like table like uh, format. So mm -hmm. we have we will be uh, uh, delimiter is comma. So uh, JSON is something like a semi structure and it, it it is like a uh, like a key value pass. So Parquet is a uh, column based uh, file format. So it's like it for it is mainly used for the uh, it's compression. Compression. Meaning for it. So, compression. Uh, so, and uh, have you worked on Avro or ASIM format? Also? Uh, Avro, I have like learned it, learned it in theoretical only, but I haven't used it in okay. uh, any of the access. So, like what? Uh, so, you have mentioned in Parquet that, you know, uh, it, it is a column based uh, a yeah. file and uh, it is more compressed than the different yeah. format. So, so is yeah. there any other property also of Parquet? Some metadata kind of thing, if you know. Oh no, I I haven't gone through that. Okay, that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. So you like schema? You, it has uh, inbuilt schema, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, schema yeah. can be. Yes, yes. Different. You have mentioned you worked on Gen two. Do you know the difference between mm -hmm. Gen one? And Gen two between Gen one and Gen two. Uh, no, no, I have I've searched in Google before itself, but I, <laughs> uh, I I haven't got that answer. Gen one and Gen two because I want to know when when I was introduced to uh, uh, Azure like, itself, I was introduced to Gen two only. But yeah. I don't know what is like how, what is the previous version of Gen one or uh, how it has gone to Gen. Yeah, 2. now com companies are moving to Gen two only. And they are planning okay. to remove Gen One, so it's no need to, you know. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Okay, then you have mentioned. Um, okay. Okay, so I'll ask some question in ADF. Uh, okay. yeah, sure. You have created a copy activity. Okay. Before okay. that, what what you have to create? 
you know what what are the step to create a copy activity or run that copy activity okay i have to start it with the first whether it is a on prem or uh, like the sources from yeah, uh, if it is on prem then i have to create a self hoster so i have what, to what it is in azure i self hoster uh, integration run time and and, so the, and what does it what it uh, it is it, it is the basic uh, compute uh, structure for the adf to perform the all the uh, activities integration okay. runtime is the compute uh, platform okay got it so uh, yeah if it is within azure then i will uh, create a cell uh, like azure uh, auto uh, azure ir then after uh, like after creating it like i ca- i have to start it with the creating link service for the particular uh, using the azure uh, like a adf connector Mm-hmm. so based on the uh, like if it is a uh, amazon uh, like uh, aws uh, database or something then i have to use that connector then i have to uh, after creating a link service then i have to define a data set so data Correct. set is something like a, like uh, the table the table uh, that i am going to copy so i can i, data, I can have a number set, of data da- okay da- data set is a table or you know the data you are saying no 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 it is not a uh, it's not like a table for example it's a table if i am connecting to kind a of database data which like, you are going to yeah. copy so okay. it's like a uh, data set is a uh, it's like uh, the data uh, i am going to pull uh, mm-hmm. copy so which kind of data whether is it csv it's, data or the table uh, format data yeah. and this packet xml yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. then so after creating the data set then i have to create a uh, like copy data activity so uh, uh, like it is it, like copy data tool so i can directly uh, like inside the pipeline i will creating the placing the copy then uh, copy data activity starts with uh, like uh, mentioning the source source data set mm-hmm. then after i created the source data then i have to mention it uh, uh, to the sync sync part to okay the, uh, yeah sync part uh, the sync part on the final data set got then it. once uh, i after that i, I will if i got, trigger the pipeline it, with it. the schedule trigger yeah so for an example you you have uh, 10 tables in a source okay you have to copy it okay. one you know then what's the pers- process okay okay if i have to copy it a 10 table uh, into a uh, okay i can uh, maybe it, it's all for if it all follows the same process so, then i yeah, can use yeah, the yes so if you yeah. mention right so I can you have it. worked on gen2 yeah, I... copy data from gen2 to mm-hmm. the uh, synapse so yeah. just tell these yeah. things if you have 10 tables so in gen2 yeah. i can uh, i can parameterize the pipeline by passing the uh, pa- data set names so if i use then i can use it for the 10 uh, uh, tables and then i can create which, for... which activity will you use in it uh, i can i can use copy data activity only yeah. copy activity you will use and then okay. will you use any extra activity also to iterate so something if it's like okay for a for low like for each look up uh, mm-hmm, then yes. like uh, like those activities if i uh, based on or if i want to go on for the any transformation kind of thing then i can go for data flow mapping mm-hmm. data flow. okay 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 got it got it okay so uh, uh, so which type of trigger you have you worked on it uh, i have worked on schedule trigger mm-hmm. then uh, windowing trigger i have uh, i have no and even base trigger like when when a file comes in and it will trigger okay so uh, so what is window so suppose i give you one uh, scenario so okay. uh, now i'm uh, i have one copy to copy activity and i am triggering it using the uh, okay. schedule user doubling window trigger i i okay. trigger it and simultaneously i trigger the same uh, copy activity will it work or not okay uh, can you come again on on okay. yeah yeah so suppose you have to copy pipeline a you are running okay. it using tumbling window you okay. you just click yeah. on the trigger button and sud- and okay. after some seconds you again trigger okay. on the uh, on on the tumbling window trigger so will okay. it work or not what will happen no oh, tumbling window is something like uh, we are going to pass and like within the schedule ta- like interval of times it will trigger 
Hmm. So uh, as uh, it will not run, I guess my uh, my guess is. Uh, yeah. So tumbling window, what happens? क्या होता है ना कि जब तक particular yes yes so जब तक कुछ particular time to yeah 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 you got it. yeah I I think you know yeah okay fine yeah fine. based on time stamp it yeah uh, we yes, have yes, to yes, define yeah. and uh, so as as the second uh, time we as we are triggering it won't work as already the the uh, one, one like pipeline the, is in a queue yeah, is in a queue or yeah. is it in yeah. progress so until first it's completes already, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and yeah. what schedule then, is the one like uh, schedule is okay, yeah, times. yeah, schedule schedule yeah. is fine, and what is event base? Ah, uh, event base is something like uh, when uh, uh like base uh, if it is a uh, how would like if uh, consider we have a, a ADLS uh, storage Gen general two. storage, hmm. and if a yeah if a file comes into that storage of a particular uh, file part. Then, uh, like based on that uh, arrival of the file, the event is triggered, and pipeline starts based on for every each file when when the file lands in the file path. So we so we don't need to define any timing for that. Whenever the time, whenever the file comes in the location, it uh, will automatically yeah. trigger the pipeline. It okay. will trigger, yeah, based on the file, uh, the definition we are giving file okay. name in the path. Okay, so in ADF, how many activities you have worked on? One is copy activity. You said. I worked on. And uh, lookup, yeah. lookup activity. Lookup for each. Then I worked on more over data flow activities like, uh, fil uh, filter, sort, filter condition. Okay. Uh, then yeah, derived column. Then both based on those. Okay. So tell one thing in ADF. Did you work on ADB? Uh, activity creating flows okay database flow uh, uh database flow like uh, creating a notebook and incorporating in the pipeline hmm. scheduling the have you worked, in our, have, including have, in our have, have you yeah. created okay have created, so i used which, the AD, ADB. So which, which cluster have you used in it uh, we use uh, like for my practice it i used single node cluster okay so okay for practice only so you you did not work on yeah. the real time project uh, no, no, no okay. I haven't. Yeah, fine, fine. I'm still uh, in. Okay, yeah, fine. That's that's not a problem. Mm -hmm, okay. So, uh, Praveen, please share your screen. I'll give you some yes. questions. Then just write in okay. your notepad. Mm, are you able to see me? Yes. Okay. So. Okay. So, uh, uh, Praveen, rate yourself in Python. Do you know Python language? Uh, yeah, I know Python. Python. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, Python, I am uh, like I am uh, like I am trying from uh, beginner to intermediate. Oh yeah, that's that's. Good, good. Like one. I know, like a huh. basic in basic uh, in build, basic you know functions. right? Okay. okay yeah, okay. in build functions. Oops, and those things. Okay, so you just uh, just a simple question. So yeah, you have yeah. one string or a number. Yeah, okay. You have to find out whether okay. the string is palindrome or not. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So. Maybe Kevin, can you please increase the font size? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. No, no the, I mean, okay. yeah, okay, fine. Reverse string, reverse. Okay. Yeah. Is this a predefined function, yeah. or you are going to create function? No, it is a predefined function. Reverse sorted. Is it reverse? Is a predefined? I'm actually don't know. 
<laughs> I worked. Uh, uh, maybe uh, like so. Uh, yeah. So reverse also I can. Yeah. Don't use predefined function. Just give you the uh, give oh, you algorithm. Okay. okay. I know it's Python. We can use a predefined thing, but you know I want to see okay. the logic. Uh, then I can. This question. Ah, uh, can I use any uh slicing? Ha ha yeah, that's fine. Okay, minus one. Will you you use? Okay, okay okay fine. I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good. Okay. Hmm. So okay, you have one list. Okay. Okay. That's some second question. For an example, one zero, one zero, one zero. You have one list and which has a binary numbers, multiples of binary one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, zero one. You know, yeah. Okay. Something like that. Now you have okay. to. Now you have to uh, print the result. First, all zeros, mm. then all ones. uh okay like in a like two different list no no in a single list only so so the output will be like 0 0 0 then 1 1 1 okay 1 1 1 okay so Okay, so uh, Praveen, yes, so Praveen, yeah. can't we use yeah. only one string? I mean, one list. You have used here two strings. Two Can lists. I, okay. Can't we use only one uh, single list? Uh, single list. No. Try to optimize it. Okay. Maybe if I use sorting, 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 or... yeah, sorting. I know sorting will be easy, no? Yeah, okay, just okay. Sort it, just okay. sort it in ascending order, then. Okay, then. Okay, now maybe I can mm -hmm. append it from last uh, index, maybe. Okay, cool. I got it. So this is also the correct way, but I wanted some, you know, some optimized way. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah. You can clear it. But but uh, if I. Yeah yeah please, yeah please please go ahead if you have. Yeah, I, if I have to uh, update it in a single list, then like uh, if zero comes in, then uh, it it will go to the uh, first three rows, first three indices. But what else? Hmm. Like one will be in the right. So how can I append it to the last index? See, I I am not sure the optimized way, but the but okay, okay. but the first uh, but but the another workaround is you have written for i in eleven, then you have created this hmm. condition i is equal to zero then appending. Okay, this hmm. is the first loop. Yeah, yeah. Then in again second loop, you can write the same thing and you can check for i is equal to one, 
and then you can append it then zero 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 one 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 it's not an efficient way but oh, it's a it's okay. a diff but you 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 can okay. uh, you know use it use only one uh one list okay only one string hmm. yeah one list yeah yeah e yeah even though this is also not a optimizer but yeah cool that's not a problem okay 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 you know sql right yeah so if i ask you to rate yourself out of five then how many mm, i'm uh, like three three okay. 2.5 to three <laughs> okay mm. okay for an example uh you have one table which has a column id names okay i'll start from basic then we'll uh, move on okay which has okay. Uh, a names and id column okay and for an ex and the id has one two three four five six names is like your okay. pravin name my name ram okay. shyam you know mulai okay. some some x y z names are present you okay. need to okay. find out the records for those mm -hmm. whose names is greater than five, the length of the name is greater than five. For an example, my name is Saga, okay. right? So Saga is okay. Saga has five alphabets. So you, Select, you should not uh, print. Hmm. Yeah. Only names. Okay. Names and ID, whatever. Okay. Length of name uh, greater than five. Yeah. Okay, fine. Correct. Okay. So, okay, what's the difference between truncate and delete? Okay, truncate is like uh, it will fr it's like uh, clear clear the data and it will not uh, clear the uh, schema. Hmm, okay. So it's like column names will column mm -hmm. header names will be uh, kept it well, as like yes. the same and the only rows will be flush uh, flush. And de delete is something it's like uh, deleting everything in the table. Then what's the di what's the difference between drop and delete then? Drop is uh, dropping the table name itself. Table name itself means uh, the schema. Like uh, dropping the table itself, dropping table. the complete table. And then delete. Yeah. Delete will delete, drop the deleted. schema. Uh, if, okay, I got confused. So, okay, so, uh, so, delete. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, it, so, truncate, what does it do? It will delete the data. Okay. 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 And, and delete statement also delete the data, but we can use where clause in it. But in truncate, you cannot okay. use uh, where clause. Suppose suppose you oh. want to suppose you want to delete some of Particular... the records, yeah. Oh, then you okay. will use uh, delete. Otherwise, you will use truncate. Okay, truncate on a whole it performs hmm. that, and then yeah, yeah. without where. Okay, okay, got it. Got Do you know drop is something between... like D delete the table, yeah. delete the table, drop the table. Okay. okay so, okay. do you know the difference between union and union all? Uh, okay. Like I know union. Union is something like uh, every. Uh, without any matching condition, like union all performs, and union is something like like left and right side. It uh, no, it performs. So suppose suppose you suppose you have a table A, okay. Okay, table yeah, yeah table yeah. which has two columns, ID name. Okay, 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 and you have table B. 
which has the same columns id name okay. you want to merge it you want to combine okay. the data how would you do that so i will a union only where a a union b then what is the output if you do this so if i do this a union b a to it, it is like uh, like complete b is merged to a table i guess so how many times b b will be printed two two or two single two or double two double two okay so if i so if you write a union all b then what will be the answer okay union only union union all so i guess like uh, duplicate all values also it will keep union okay. all yes so uh, okay. okay so so you said in union all will get a duplicate values but in union yeah. will we get duplicate or not uh it will not it will it will have match conditions and as a single row so in this case you have two two so if you do okay. a union b then what will be the answer two times two or single like two? two columns single two then single single two, single two. yeah well, correct yeah mm, okay do you know window functions uh window functions when i uh, like i uh, when i'm doing the certification i learned like tumbling window those function in sql i haven't gone to that window rank uh, those things lead lag like. okay rank last lead yeah so do you uh, know dead diff like i have seen it in the queries i referred the queries but like i haven't used it okay, uh, okay. that much hands on so. okay no that's not a problem like okay. i know the use cases mm -hmm. where it has to be used like okay but I that's haven't... not a problem so okay so right right one table which has two okay. columns same okay. id name okay and uh, name name will be like my name for an example sagar id 1 okay 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 again sagar id 1 okay Right, I yeah, write just some for your understanding. Okay. Then Pravin two, Pravin two, two times or three times. Okay. Two. Okay. And uh, and and just to write some name, random name, assign two three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's all. now you can see here we have a duplicate entries. for saga mm -hmm. pr pravin and money right so not mm -hmm. not for money only for saga and pravin you have to find out these such records in sql uh which record which having duplicate values so in this table saga 1 and pr 2 oh. has a duplicate value right but money 3 hasn't have a duplicate value so my answer will be my output okay. will be sagar one select and, yeah yeah select uh, count count star from table group by name so it will show me uh the names that is like mm like it will count every name as like okay money is one time only one time occurred and pravin it will be two and sagar it will be two will will it print that okay, or five. will it print uh, two two one two two one two two one will it print correct sagar two pr two money two it will uh okay name yeah name and count okay now the output will be sagar 2 pi 2 money 1 yeah 
but i want yeah. i want those records which has a duplicate like which has a two count like sagar and pr okay. should be printed then uh, i have to use some uh, okay group and where where uh maybe count uh like some ex- no, i have to uh, frame a logic of where count not greater than 1 then i will get the money one i guess but yeah, i but I have, but, I have but you an... but you cannot use here where you can where use, after you group. you you can use yeah. having having okay, having of, yeah, yeah okay having but, count of one. yeah but the second alternative is you can write like this you know you can write this statement in inner query and the outer query you can write select a star sub query okay select a star okay. from this and then where the count star is greater than one or two words of the okay just i give the give the solution that's not a big you are so bad but just okay, focus okay. on this uh, clause because it's very sub query so. okay 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 mm-hmm. just a last question in sql you have to yeah. write your name in sql mm-hmm. right up okay maybe it will show me pravin sure <laughs> yeah yeah correct tumara you didn't yeah correct correct when i was learning sql three years back but i did not know this kind of hack so yeah it's like we we consider on the bigger part and we lose uh, this, this yeah. thing okay so uh, and the uh, most uh, interview questions uh, it was on the basic one yeah mm-hmm. yeah so do you know uh, spark architecture yeah please tell so it's spark is like in memory uh, like in memory processing so spark is like a, a basically a computer architecture uh, architecture which has driver and uh, uh, worker node so what driver will do is like it will get the spark code and it will assign it the uh, it will spl- uh, split it into the uh, and give the uh, task to the worker nodes so un it, it after worker uh, does it for then it, it driver uh, takes care of uh, gathering the uh, uh, like the result okay so as every yeah. so oh. in inside uh, worker also there is like slot on task mm-hmm. okay so do you know hadoop yeah hadoop is like a distributed storage so how is it different then is spark which okay, and is, uh, and which Hadoop is best is a, uh, which is good no uh, i won't uh, i won't say hadoop is uh, different from spark itself hadoop is a ecosystem mm-hmm. where we have uh, hdfs map reduce and uh, scope those and uh, where spark is like a compute uh, pro- compute uh, engine for the processing data processing where hadoop echo like hdfs so those are all distributed storage uh, like uh, storage uh, storage uh, component so uh, like maybe spark can be incorporated into the hadoop ecosystem in the place of map reduce mm-hmm. so as uh, like spark is mo- much more efficient like uh, uh, like uh, than the map reduce so we can uh, use that underlying uh, hdfs sto- com- uh, like storage structure and spark can use its compute processing so it's like it 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 like complete uh, storage and distributed storage distrib- like uh, distributed processing that's it. got it got it got it yeah. so did you work on azure databricks and you know do you know uh, yeah. more yeah. about uh, it, uh, spark right so i'll ask Spice you spark. one question uh, yeah mm you know pi spark correct yeah basic of pi spark okay so uh what question i ask you 
we have two tables or we can uh, we, we can say we have two data frame one is very large data frame okay. and second is very less data frame for an example one data okay. frame df1 has uh, millions okay. of data okay and okay. the size of the data frame is uh, around 1 gb okay and second data frame has uh, only 50 mb of data 50 okay. mb you can you you can okay. assume 5 mb not 50 mb okay okay uh, yeah now you have to do a join it has some co column common columns like id and you have to join on basis of id column what will you do um, <clears throat> i will join of df dot join df2 mm -hmm. on after join i have to come on then df1 dot that column name id mm -hmm. equal to df2 dot id so match case it's like df if i'm joining df2 to df1 Okay. Based on the ID matches. Okay, it is so I have good. yeah, it's correct. It's your your logic is correct. But I mentioned you know the data frame one has very okay. large data and the data frame two okay. has very less data. Would you do some uh, optimization here? Any any theoretically any I have seen it in uh, in uh, in in a LinkedIn post that I came over, like a broadcast for the optimization of join. Correct. Somewhere. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so ra have... rather than yeah rather yeah. than work broadcast do you know any other thing which you would like to you know add it here any partition will you make or something like that if you can do okay i know see like in okay in, maybe in spark, i can add yeah. A, yeah, yeah 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 please go ahead i can i can uh, divide uh, df2 on partition of id then uh why df2 df2 already has very less df1 data. df1 df1 mm -hmm. df1 if i uh, partition it then like based on based on which column suppose it has based on id column id, ID column. column because i am going to join df2 based on id column match only so if i yeah Okay. So based mm -hmm. on matching, yeah, yeah, that's also correct. But broadcast also also work here. But you know, it's not compulsory to use uh, a predefined technology uh, te uh, approach. We should first analyze the okay. things, and then you know we will oh. go ahead. Okay. 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 Uh, but if hmm. I use a partition, right? Like I have to uh, first uh, partition the DF one. Hmm. Then I have to use the join DF one like whether yeah, like, comes here or, or uh, after this be, before this before df1 dot okay. join condition it's like a uh, partition no no, by, no not uh, not like this not like this once you once you create uh, your df1 right then only you have to oh, okay. create uh, write the syntax the partition or collage okay okay yeah. okay then not, i have to use yeah, some yeah, some df2 yeah, here uh -huh, yeah not here okay okay that's mm. cool so did did you work yeah. on uh, did you use collect collect uh, yeah yeah collect show or show display so if so collect so, is... yeah so if you write select a star from some table and then dot collect and then bracket what what happens in the driver or in the in this apache spark what what actually happens when when we write out collect function so it goes and takes the data from every uh, worker node mm -hmm. because as the it is distributed and it shows here so it collects if, it and gives it to the driver and yeah it yes yes so if my my showing... data if my data is large should we use it or not We should, should we not use, use collect? It. Why so? We should not use it. 
because it touches every node and every data and mm. shows something like it's like uh, 10 her head we can use like uh, based on our uh, okay. because we yeah if it is a last date we we are not like uh, if we want to read it on a larger base then we can go but it's like uh, if we want to view it on a, a sample something on mm-hmm. our top 10 or or uh, the first 10 I, i can use show or head yeah yeah correct okay tell one thing here uh, you have mm-hmm. mentioned you have worked on serverless serverless yeah. uh, sql pools and dedicated and sql copy pool, yeah. data to sql uh, mm-hmm. sql dedicated, dedicated what's the difference between these two dedicated serverless and the serverless and dedicated. yeah okay dedicated is something like uh, dedicated sql pool is something like we are uh, it's the compute uh, power and it is like we are defining so w- if we have a uh, software and uh, like if we want if we have a historic data and if we want to uh, perform a analytic based on like uh, like very periodically like uh, even when we want to store it and we have to per- like perform ma- many 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 more uh, analytical purpose then we can use the dedicated sql pool and the compute resources we have to define and we uh, like when it uh, like we have to define the uh, like based on our uh, data uh, store, mm. like size yes, uh, yes. serverless sql pool is effective when it is like when we have to perform a ad hoc ad hoc uh, query, uh, analytics or uh, queries and we don't know how much it is going to uh, uh, like the resource it going to uh, it it's going to acquire so when we are not knowing Uh, how much resource we want for that particular analysis then if it is for a one time also we can use serverless pool so basically like uh, like azure takes care of the uh, serverless like the resources and all so uh, it's easily scalable and okay so more, i give you uh, one, one i give you one scenario so okay. i have to store data uh you know i have to store data in the table in in the mm. in the database okay not in different okay. external storage so which mm. database okay. will you use uh, either uh, whether a dedicated or serverless use, uh, dedicated sql so, so i have to use dedicated sql because so i'm going to use uh, that database okay you know that difference why, why okay can't yeah serverless... yeah yeah i just wanted i can be serverless okay no no because because in serverless we will uh, you know serverless query data into the data lake it it doesn't store any data yeah. in their okay. database uh, it doesn't have any storage uh, mm-hmm. by yeah. default okay last question uh last question which i got uh, i wanted to ask one important question Mm, I forgot then. Okay, uh, tell me about the Delta Lake. What is it? And uh, do you know? And and do you know data uh, warehouse? Del- data warehouse, data yeah, mart. Yeah, data. So tell me the difference between these mm-hmm. three: del- data warehouse, data mart, and Delta Lake. data mart uh, like i am not clear about but i will tell start with delta lake uh, data lake hmm. so data lake is something uh, it, like it's like a uh, it is used uh, it is used for storing uh, data in its raw format so if you have a, a, a de- uh, like if you have so much different sources and if it have a uh, so like a different file formats and the the size of the uh, it's very vast then we can use the delta lake architecture and we can use it store it in delta uh, data sorry data lake in its raw format and we can uh, define the schema uh, while we read it from the data lake okay so it's so when we when we want to perform any analytic purpose for that while reading uh, we can define the schema so it's like whenever where there is a need we can go to uh the file and we can re- uh, define the schema for while reading and we can so until uh, otherwise it will be in its raw format in its native form mm. okay maybe it's structured and structured mm. so we don't like del del uh, where where data warehouse is something 
data warehouses like every uh, like uh, we have uh, it's it you basically a yeah, analytical uh, structured uh, it follows a ol ap mm -hmm. so it's like uh, uh, like analytical uh, like it is mainly used for analytical purpose and it's like uh, mm, it's like if we are uh, like data warehouse something like uh, we got from different sources mm -hmm. and we have performed uh, we, uh, loaded into data warehouse for for a final uh, uh, need a structure need okay 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 so it's like structured like everything that is in the yeah structure in the data warehouse structure so the data mart i have uh, i have less okay that's not a problem so, that's not a problem uh, Raveen. what is and, yeah. and delta lake is something uh, delta lake is a uh, yeah storage yeah delta lake is a storage layer which is on uh, used by data bricks and uh, uh, in on data bricks file system so it is basically uh, a data delta lake is a file format uh, like underlying is it's a par uh, parkour format and it's like a staging area where we can use it uh, like basically we are building a spark tables spark tables using the mm -hmm. delta uh, format so like we can use that delta time uh, delta format and we can use a uh, use it as a staging area and we can uh, like 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 it, it it can have bronze silver gold and those table like staging thing checkpoints and time travel as uh, asset things like after that like uh, uh, like we can uh, load it into Okay. The, uh, okay. So you have worked in database. So did you use external tables yeah. or the managed table? Okay, I have used the managed table only. Do you know the difference between these two, external and uh, managed? Yeah, external table is something like uh, mm, like we are creating it from the uh, source and we are uh, just creating a table by so, uh, defining the schema but managed mm -hmm. table is something we are creating in in default database and it's like uh, uh, like yeah, spark sql stores the metadata and its data like uh, the details of metadata and data okay so for managed table. so if you create uh, uh, you know a managed table in database where the data gets stored okay uh by default uh okay i have to create a database and i have to create a yeah so uh, manage table like this correct correct first we have to create a database and then the digital on whatsoever and then you know the data gets loaded but where yeah. it gets stored my question is. a databricks file system okay yeah. that okay or... okay yeah yeah correct correct you are right that is called dbfs and okay. the path will be like user yeah, hive db. user hive then your database uh, named yeah. or db and then okay yeah fine yeah, yeah fine Hari, uh, sorry fine Praveen. you are good in your okay. basic but i would like to okay. add some points here you know just uh, do okay, some yeah, more sure. more practice on sql as well as python because oh, okay. python is very important and uh, okay, yeah, yeah everything is fine and I just stop okay. the recording, then we can discuss more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.